Tanzania's Prime Minister, Kazim Majaliwa, has urged traders in the country's busiest market to end their three-day strike with a promise to address their grievances. The traders shot their stores to protest against the multiple taxes system, which has forced prices to go up and discourage foreign business partners. News Central's Adeshewa Dushoga reports. It's been three days and these shops, numbering more than 1,000, have remained under lock and key. Tanzania's busiest market is unusually deserted. The traders are protesting against the imposition of a new tax by the government. They are calling for an end to multiple taxes, harassment by the police and the tax collectors after the new levy came into effect last month. Mada yetu makubwa sana ni kutokana na kodi ya kweza kulipia store. Kwa sababu kwa si wafanya biashara, kiukweli kodi itaweza kutuumiza sana. Siwa itaweza, ina kodi ambayo inatuumiza sana sisi wafanya biashara. Na ndiyo mano unaona tumeweza kushikamana na kuweza kuweka mgomo huu. Kwa sababu itakuwa kuna kodi kubwa. Ulipie store, ulipie duka, yani kodi zimekuwa yani ni nyingi sana kwa kifupi. The action by the traders has an extended impact on street vendors and even motorbike riders who rely on these big stores for goods as well as transporting customers and merchants who move to and fro the market. Sasa si mfanya biashara tu mpaka mwasilika mwingine kama sisi watu aliachini. Leo hii unaona pikipiki zote zimepaki hapa. Hakuna maisha. Maisha sisi tunategemea maduka yafunguliwe, magodown yafanye kazi, unapigiwa simu, chukua chuma nenda godown unapakia, unarudi unaweka dukani, unalipwa ujira wako. Leo maandamano bado yanaendelea siku ya tatu Watu tumeathirika kwa wa Malawi, wa wanakuja hapa wa Zambia. Umeona? Wanakuja wa Kenya, wanaogopa sasa hivi kwa uso uliokuepo unaoonesha kwa hapa Tanzania. Soko la Kaliakoli limekuwa limeharibika, kuharibika kwenyewe. Wanaogopa matatizo yanayotokana na serikali wenyewe, watu wao waliwasambaza kwa kushanya ufuru. Reacting to their demands, Prime Minister Kasim Majaliwa announced a suspension on tax collection urging the traders to resume trade activities as well as setting up a committee of government officials and traders. The closures are the Karaoke market, a commercial hub that trades with other regions and neighboring countries, came as the East African nation witnesses a gradual opening of freedoms under President Samia Sulu Hassan, who came to power two years ago. Adesha Waldo Shoga reporting for News Central.